Hello guys, welcome all. So let's discuss about an informative topic in this video. And here we go. The topic which we are going to discuss is daylight saving time. Firstly, we will just deviate a little from the topic as an introduction. Then slowly we will get into the topic deep. So yes, now as we all know how important time is in our daily routine. In fact, every second matters a lot. Isn't it right? Yes. Usually, we do have a practice of tracking our watches just to be in parallel with long run of the day's work. That too, in this modern and digitalized world of speed, time management is mandatory and it's absolutely necessary in places like heading to office on time, attending classes on time in schools and so on. Even some people consider that time is more precious than money. So we can conclude that ultimately time is everything. Will you guys believe if I gonna say such precious time ultimately changes in some parts of the world according to the pattern of sunlight? Yes, you should believe because it's absolutely yes. So now you guys might be confused, right? So let me explain the factor behind why the change in time happens. So according to the design of our solar system, the earth which is evolving in its particular orbit might seem to receive all the solar lights concentrated more at the equator and partially over other parts which are far away from the equator. So by this the sun rays almost concentrate at the equator. As a, as a result, the northern and the southern hemisphere do not have a constant and fixed daylight throughout the year. So the people who live in northern and southern hemisphere almost lack sunlight. In order to overcome the need of the sunlight, they practice this daylight saving time, also called DST. Here is the bar chart of a pattern of sunlight experienced in northern and the southern hemisphere. So here we can say that usually fall experience about 8 to 9 hours of sunlight per day in general and spring experience about 14 to 15 hours of sunlight per day in general. So now let's see what is meant by daylight saving time and what it is called generally. By considering the above mentioned bar graph to maximize the utilization of sunlight we introduce the concept called daylight saving time. The term daylight saving time means to spring forward and falls back. In simple, to be more clear, during fall the clocks will be reset back one hour and during spring the clocks will be again set ahead by one hour throughout the country. To be even more clear, let's go with some more explanation with an example. Like, for instance, we can consider Canada. As Canada belongs to Northern Hemisphere, here the spring lies between around March to May and fall lies between around September to November. As we all know that during spring, the sunlight experienced is comparatively more than fall as they lack sunlight as explained above. To consume the sunlight efficiently and effectively, they set their clock an hour ahead, mostly at the end of March or early April officially. Also, we know that during fall, the sunlight experienced is comparatively lesser than spring. So there is no longer need to be an hour ahead. So they again set back one hour mostly in late September or early October. Added to it, we know that southern hemisphere have spring and fall in completely different months. So they set accordingly like spring forward and falls back. Overall, it seems to be like a vice versa of northern hemisphere. So here are some details about the proposal of this concept. So yes. It's George Hudson and he was the first one too. So now let's see how many countries do follow this DST in and around our world. 
it's exactly 70 countries now we can explore which are all the countries following this DST. Some northern hemisphere countries following this DST are United States, United Kingdom, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Austria, Finland and so on. Some southern hemisphere countries following this DST are Australia, New Zealand, Argentina, Indonesia and so on. Yep, good. Now let's see some countries which do not practice DST. So here we have Fine, let's discuss about some points on pros and cons. Firstly, pros. There seems to be a longer evenings than usual ones. It is observed that less artificial lights are required. Next, cons. The change in time can make people fall to sick. Practicing DST has no records of energy conservation. Yep, great. Now, I guess you guys might have got some idea about DST and let's get to know some additional facts about DST. Fact number one. Not every state in United States of America practice spring forward and falls back. Fact number two. About 80% of the population in the world do not use DST. Fact number three. Research has shown that DST can actually cause an increase in energy used by about one person instead. Fact number four. Germany was the first country to start practicing this DST. Thank you guys. Hope to see you all in the next video.